All right, shares of Tesla down just over 1% today, but still up. 80 plus percent so far this year. CEO Elon Musk was at the Super Bowl Sunday sitting next to News Corp chairman and CEO Rupert Murdoch. Mr. Musk has proclaimed to be fiercely independent politically, despite urging his followers to vote Republican in the midterms. The photo only adds fuel to this fire. He also sat with President Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner at the World Cup along with the Qatari royal family. Politics may be part of the equation impacting Elon's attempted turnaround of Twitter, Shauna. More than half of Twitter's top 1,000 advertisers in September were no longer spending on the platform during the first couple weeks of January. This is according to digital marketing firm Pathmatics. Now, CNN reporting that 625 of those 1,000 advertisers, this includes brands like Coca-Cola, Unilever, Jeep, and Wells Fargo, had yet to return. Talk about the impact that this is having on Twitter, just putting it uh, just plainly in these numbers. This was a business that once, Dave, was a $4.5 billion dollar advertising business for Twitter. Last month's numbers in January from Pathmatics are saying it dropped all the way to 48 million, 127 million down to 48 million when we account the top 1,000 advertisers. A dramatic drop. We know Elon Musk is trying to diversify his revenue stream, trying to go outside the ad business. It looks, at least up until this point, that that has not been working. And he's under a tremendous amount of pressure to find a solution and to find it fast. Yeah, what's the real signature win for Elon's tenure at Twitter? And largely, I got to say, it's cutting headcount, yeah. gutting that place. But in terms of improving the platform or improving their bloodline, which is advertising, he has come up radically short. And it's not entirely clear what is going to save advertising on this platform. If the Super Bowl didn't do it and we haven't had any new numbers out from Twitter, hopefully we'll get some today or tomorrow, then they could be in deep, deep trouble. And that could, and just saying could, include bankruptcy at some point. What is the road to profitability for Elon at Twitter? And I, I circle back to that political point where we started. Look, if you want to be available to all advertisers, you want to stay out of the political fray, you don't want them to view you through a political spectrum. Same thing with Tesla, right? You don't want people buying a Tesla thinking about, do I like Rupert Murdoch, uh, a brilliant business band, but certainly one of the more divisive mm -hmm. CEOs, chairman in this country, it's interesting to see him covet mainstream advertisers and sit with Rupert. I'm just saying. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a strategy that's going to pay off or make sense, at least in this point, given the complication, given the challenges that he faces at Twitter right now, the fact that so many of the larger brands no longer want to advertise on that platform. Now, the company has started to offer some incentives. They are doing some things to try and get those advertising advertisers back. They are offering some free ads, lifting that ban on political advertising, also allowing companies greater control over the positioning of their ads. I also hired a third party a company that will give the brands a little bit more information just in terms of where they're advertising next to and with what type of information, which you think will be a step in the right direction. But taking a look at these numbers from Pathmatics, it hasn't really done much because that's, no. that number has steadily declined over the last several months. And it's clear he's going to need to do more, maybe not sitting alongside Rupert Murdoch's at the Super Bowl uh, to do do something more to win back some of those brands that now are just way too hesitant. Right, and politics isn't how he wins them back. It's competing with the likes of TikTok. That is, of course, what's going to get those advertisers back, showing that you can offer a similar type of product or something close to TikTok or even what you're seeing on Reels. Not entirely clear if that's going to happen. Elon Musk has a heavy lift. I did use it a lot throughout the Super Bowl. It did work very well. Twitter and Super Bowl ads is perfect. That is the ultimate marriage of the platform to any event. I think it is the perfect marriage to sports and social media. Better than TikTok, better than Instagram, but we'd love to see some numbers. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's why these numbers, the numbers from the Super Bowl are gonna be so critical here, just really getting a read of the room of where Twitter stands today.